The world of 200 million years ago saw some of the strangest animals that had ever lived. Nothing about them suggested they would become a huge success. But these turtles were among the first of Earth's great dynasties of reptiles. Turtles then and now are unique. Their bodies are encased in armor, and that shell has changed little over millions of years. Varying greatly in size, they colonized most of the world. But wherever they live, the basic shape of a turtle's body remains the same. Some land-dwelling turtles, or tortoises, are quite small. Others have become famous as giants. Some long-necked types are at home in and out of fresh water. They and these shorter-necked turtles are known as terrapins. Two hundred and fifty-seven turtle species exist. They live in every environment, from the driest of deserts to the coldest extremes. Some that are gentle vegetarians have become welcome visitors to our homes. Others hunt out of our view. Older than the birds, all turtles may owe their success to their simple design. But what future is there for turtles living life in a shell? Powderham Castle in England is the ancestral home of Lord Devon. It's also the home of Timothy, a rather venerable tortoise. To the present Lord, Timothy is the oldest member of the family. Timothy first came into our family in 1892, and he previously belonged to Captain Rutherford, who was a sea captain. Um, and undoubtedly he was on board ship um, for quite a long time and this has given rise to a number of uh, myths about Timothy's beginnings that he belonged to pirates and all this sort of thing which aren't strictly true. He's outlived um, a, a number of uh, Earls of Devon I think um, at a quick count it's about seven or, or maybe I'm either the seventh or eighth that, that, that he's known. The suggestion is that Timothy is at least 162 years old. I think he mostly lives on sort of clovers and things, but his favorite really is, is, is strawberries. Now, oh, my son, what about that? He's been known to make a mistake when he uh, is wanting a strawberry. And we once had a, a lady with painted red toenails, and she got rather a sharp nip on the toenail. But, uh, he doesn't make too many mistakes, he knows usually what he's got. I don't know that he's terribly hungry at the moment. No. I think it's too cold for eating today. Counting growth rings on their shell is not always a reliable guide to a tortoise's age. Rings vary with diet. But tortoises always live life at a slow pace. And that may be a reason for Timmy's record age. The fossil record is our best guide to the history of Timmy's ancestors. The first we know lived some 300 million years ago in the world of forests that gave us our coal. 
From such primitive reptiles, turtles diverged first, leaving dinosaurs and other reptiles to go their own way. Through the ages, there have been turtles of fantastic size and diversity. They saw snakes emerge 100 million years ago and witnessed the extinction of the dinosaurs. That turtles have survived so long is due to the extraordinary design of the shell that protects their body. The shell has remained virtually unchanged for 200 million years. A thick layer of hardened scale is its first line of defense, but a broad bony layer, the carapace, provides strength. In other animals, this bone would be ribs. The turtle's backbone is fused to the shell. It's the support under the bridge. The shell of a turtle serves many purposes. On land, it's heavy, restricting movement, but great protection. Underwater, in a streamlined form, the shell allows for graceful swimming with surprising speed. Power is provided by huge front flippers. Sea turtles migrate thousands of miles swimming on the ocean currents. Their hind limbs are mainly used as rudders for steering. Legs have no appeal for these sailors. Sea turtles only emerge onto land to nest, and even then flippers are sufficient to haul the turtle over a beach. Freshwater turtles, or terrapins, do have legs with webbed toes to propel their streamlined shell. When feeding on the bottom of a lake or river, legs are more useful than flippers. And terrapins also climb out of the water, so their legs are essential. A tortoise, walking on land all the time, needs strong legs, in this case, to carry it out of danger. The pancake tortoise also has a flattened shell that's handy for fitting into crevices. A caracal can easily spot a meal in these cracks, but the shell of this tortoise, being flexible, can be tightly wedged in the rock. This pancake tortoise's casing defeats the inquisitive cat. Giant tortoises, and this one on a Galapagos island is among the largest in the world, have no natural predators to hide from. But they need weightlifters' legs to move their enormous shell. This one is hauling a house that weighs nearly 300 pounds and is over an inch thick. A tiny box turtle leads a far more troubled life in raccoon country, but its domed shell has a cunning device that usually outwits such hunters. It's time to take evasive action. The shell is hinged. The drawbridge comes up, and all of the turtle, head, limbs, and tail, is safe inside its castle. Only when the raccoon retreats will the turtle venture out. That hinge on the lower shell saved its life. The turtle's shell has survived some huge challenges over millions of years. But sometimes, no matter how good the design, the odds can be against it. That is one lucky tortoise. Surviving the heat of a desert is a particular challenge for tortoises. 
They can only control their temperature by moving into and out of the sun.